presents Sports Time right now with basketball action with the coach and the crew as they take on North Farmington from the Laker Arena. Number 33, Gary Kennedy. At the other guard for West Bloomfield, a junior, number 15, David Merritt. At center for North Farrington, a sophomore, number 21, Sean Mackler. And starting in the center position for West Bloomfield, a senior, number 21, Kevin Lamb. And at one forward for North Farmington, a senior, number 44, Matt Clark. And for West Bloomfield, at one forward, senior, number 23, Mondo Martin. At the other forward for North Farmington, a sophomore, number 50, Darren Rawls. And the other forward for West Bloomfield, a senior, number 50, Ed Richardson. And North Farmington is coached by Tom Negotian and Kirk David. West Bloomfield coached by Larry Moore. Fishing tonight's game are Mr. Brett Turner and Joe Kalachek. Sports action right here on 19 Sports from Laker Arena. WBTV and 19 Action Sports bringing you the MSHAA playoff game right here, right now. Welcome to second round district action as the West Bloomfield Lakers take on the North Farmington Raiders. And joining me tonight is Coach Eric Pierce, Coach Nick Latra. How are you guys doing tonight, fellas? We're doing real well. All right, we're on, we're on. <laughs> and away we go. Um, West Bloomfield earned the right to be here by uh, basically beating a Farmington Falcon team by 32 on Monday. Um, what do you think the challenge is going to be like tonight, fellas? Oh, they're speechless. I can't hear you. They can't hear me. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we'll talk right now. The uh, North uh, West Bloomfield comes out with their starting five of senior Kyle Plantsbaum, senior Ed Richardson, senior Mondo Martin, and senior Kevin Lamb. And that's a nice rotation right there by the Raiders. Are you guys on yet? And we're still waiting for my uh, compadres to come back on, online here. You're on. You're on. And ties it up two to two. Let's talk about what what North Farmington brings to the table compared to what we saw from Farmington. Coach Latra, what do you got? Well, I think uh, we're going to see a more balanced attack from the North Farmington squad. Uh, we got uh, Marcus Coleman. Four-year starter for the our four-year varsity player, um, who's, who uh, is one of their team four leaders. Also, you got Captain Matt Clark, who uh, helps out a lot on the defensive end. Okay. You can see that uh, as Farmington Falcons on Monday was willing to come up and run some clock, 
the Raiders appear to be the kind of team that wants to push the tempo a little bit tonight. Absolutely. I think they match our style a little bit more than Farmington did. That could, that could bode well for them, or it could be just the opposite as the, as the, uh, the Lakers want to run this, set the tempo. They want to be fast with the ball. Absolutely. So joining me once again, I've got him back on here. <laughs> Coach, Coach Pierce, Coach Latra. Um, second round. Oh, we got a little travel, a little triple hop step right there. Yeah. There we go. Got, just got a caught late. the second time around. That's okay. We're going to deal with that. Not a problem. Um, got uh, a couple fellas here. Got uh, number 44, Matt Clark in the game. Number 33, which is Gary Kennedy. Uh, number 50, Darren Rouse. And who else I got in there? 21, Sean Mackler. Lakers bombs away. Kyle Flansbaum comes out. Finally, number two, which is Marcus McComb, whose sister was a four-year starter for him also, was the leading scorer in the area for probably three of the four years she was, uh, she was a player. She liked to shoot. If her brother's anything like her, she, he likes to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Defensively, Wes Bloomfield's going, oh, it's a big foul there. He took one right in the chops. It's like Mr. Kevin <laughs> Lamb doesn't agree with that call. <laughs> so, fellas, we had a snow day, but the games must go on. They must, yes. You know? The, the uh, West Bloomfield was under about uh, siege of about six or seven inches today, so everybody got to sleep in. Um, with the exception of me, I got up and I was taking care of business around the house right around 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's early for you. My, my wife was a little bit upset about that whole situation. She was like, geez, oh, this is just not fair. But you know what? In all fairness, um, it's not like we were praying for snow. Right, guys? No way. Not <laughs> at all. <laughs> but tonight the game goes on. And I do want to put a plug out there because West Bloomfield's hockey team is in the uh, quarterfinals. Quarter, quarterfinals, yep. Yeah playing against Clarkston in Flint tonight in IMA. So a um, couple of big, big teams going on. I want to put a plug out there for the dance team that won the state, state title this past week. Absolutely. A lot of exciting things going on at West Bloomfield High School nowadays. Yeah, everybody, everybody's very, very successful. And, uh, you know, hard work's getting put into it, and the rewards are there. Okay, number 21. Um, 21, we got Sean Meckler at the line. Sean's averaging 12 points this year. Also doing a fine job, steals department. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> North Farmington off to an early lead, five to four. The other area that was, uh, as far as the North Farmington's attack on defense, where they, they have a zone that likes to trap every corner that they can get into. And you've seen a little bit of it right there as David Merritt kind of had to uh, uh, split a split a double. Big Ed Richardson slides off to the right. McComb with the rebound. Pulls it down. Oh. West Bloomfield might want to look out for number 44. It's North Farmington's leading scorer, Matt Clark. Yep. He's averaging 16 a game. And he's and there. He is. he is. He's open. Yeah. Oh, great defensive. Good Stop rotation by, by Kevin Lamb. You know what? That was an awesome job by the. Uh, um, the whole defensive unit. That's there right. There's the clap. We give him the clap. <laughs> Mondo Martin to David Merritt for an easy deuce. And you notice how David Merritt was able to use his left hand on that layup. Fundamentals. Fundamentals. Fundamentals, Fundamentals baby. This game brought to you um, to West Bloomfield, uh, WBTV Channel 19. Glad to have you aboard. Nice job once again. Big Ed skies for the rebound. Mondo Martin bringing it up the left side. Oh, here we go. A little showtime early on in the game. Alley oop, baby. Mondo Martin, Ed Richardson hook up. Bad hops by the Big Ed. Nice job. Now West Bloomfield, a very 
lot of pressure. There's the weak side, boy, I tell you what. North Farmington turnover. Trying to get that ball on the weak side because West Bloomfield plays so hard on the, on the front side, That's strong right. side. West Bloomfield is playing a very attacking defense right now on the ball. We'll see what happens with the weak side. That's right. Cause the turnover there. I think that you got to make a skip pass. You got to make a skip pass it's deeper than that. That angle was a little bit shallow. That's so right. It's a two pass deal, not just one. Unless it's a higher pass. And then, of course, it gives the team a chance to get back into position. But you got to make a team work on defense. And uh, so far, North Farmington's done a nice job of making West Bloomfield work. So, fellas, you've been here since about 2 o'clock today. You played, you did a little lifting, you guys checking out, making sure everything was going well. Now, you played a little one on one. This was Coach Pierce, Coach Latra, Mano Mano. He's out here in the court, nobody watching, no cameras, no nothing. What happened? I won the first game. It was, it was, okay, it was wait pretty, a second. You won the first game. I won the first game, wait, absolutely. And then, uh, you know, I. Oh, hold on, Mr. Pierce. Now, if we total up how many total games we played. <laughs> how many games did you play? We played uh, uh, four or five. Five. I, Five games. Let's just say my record's four and one. I'll take that any day. Four and one, and you also had a three-point shootout. I heard. Yeah, but we get this. Did. Get this. I think we all scored the same amount of points in oh. those five games. So, so I don't know how it happened. I'm pretty sure I was undefeated <laughs> in the three-point shootout as well. Speaking of three-pointers, hello, Kyle. Farfram. Hello. Oh, get Ed Richardson there. with the putback, sky oh. and high. North Farmington's got a box out. Ed Richardson. They better find him. You know the uh, Kyle Flansbaum shoots such a soft shot that it has a chance every, even. Anytime, rolling around up there. Ed Richardson knows it, got on the weak side, came in, plucked it, stuck it in. Nice looking shot from the top. There it is, good rotation there by North Farmington, finding the open man, Robert. number 13, Robert White for the three-pointer. Yep, he's a senior, six-footer. Number five, Matt Leach in the game, a 5'10 sophomore. Number two, we got McComb in. We got number 21 still in the game. Sean Meckler is a 6'6 sophomore. I'm not sure if he's 6'6, but he could be. North Farmington with the press on. West Bloomfield handles it easily. David Merritt for a oh, long oh, three. Oh, hammers that might have been home. NBA three. <laughs> Perry just a smooth stroke. Once again, oh, very poised. Me. Very poised by Merritt. Tom Negosia, the head coach of uh, the North Farmington Raiders, had talked about the guard play of West Bloomfield, saying that they are probably three of the best guards as far as, as a, in a tandem as he's seen all year. So, a lot, a of, lot contact. of contact, nothing there. McComb, heads he play, throws it off of Merritt. Big Ed basically um, ran that into traffic with the spot. 13-8. Coach Negosian talked about not being able to just defend one man. West Bloomfield really spreads the wealth. Yeah, absolutely. And you saw it kind of on that last play right down there. Mondo Martin dribbling down the court, got good spacing, had a nice little dish to Ed Richardson. A lot of contact, couldn't complete the play. Oh, well, I tell you what, Matt Leach, I bet you as a sophomore, on his, if he was a, there he is, he spots up, puts it in, elbow tight, reverse rotation splash, <laughs> two points. Jimmy Chipwitz. <laughs> he did what he had to do. I guess he got himself closer. Didn't feel comfortable from the 19 feet. Oh, my. Martin says, go ahead, follow me. Well, I've got it. I'm under control. Good crowd here tonight on a uh, <laughs> snowbound Wednesday night. Second round district action at West Bloomfield with the Lakers winning 13 to 10. Possession, Arrow Lakers. Quit screaming. It's all right. David Merritt gets hit on the elbow a little bit. Doesn't matter. Good as a pass. Mono Martin. Give him right an assist side. for that one. Give him an assist. <laughs> Don't beg. Don't beg, boys. <laughs> Leach with the ball again. Lamb doing a good job. Got no number on there. There we man. go. Kyle Flansbaum, the little jitterbug. <laughs> he's coming in. He's the kind of guy that just well, just drives you crazy as a coach. Um, you say you got to be able to beat him. He's so small, but he's got such a great handle. He just got it stripped. Such a great handle, he got it stripped. Quit your laughing, boys. That usually happens when a guy's shooting a free throw and he says he's a great free throw shooter. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't All hear glass on that call. Ed Richardson with the rebound. Give it up, give it up. Looking like Magic Johnson. Once again, a lot of contact. They're letting him play. Mark uh, Mondrovis, I believe the name is, is a six foot freshman. Wow. There's McComb. <laughs> Big ball from the corner. 15-13 Lakers. Oh, there's some contact. Now, was he shooting? They're going to take the ball to the side, looks like. Nope, take it underneath. 
West Bloomfield bench, including Vince Berry. We got Julian Frazier, Terrence Turner, Addison Berry. We got Mr. Weaver over there. Matt Koenigsknecht, Casey Unrap, and Zach Kilbers. Injured player, Mike Judon. On the floor for the Lakers, Kyle Flansbaum Sr., Mondo Martin Sr., Kevin Lamb Sr. We got, uh, see who, we got David Merritt, who's a junior, and Ed Richardson, who is a senior. Looks like North Farmington's gonna use a lot of people tonight, as they've already, oh, whoa, nice try. <laughs> Nice job. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a, uh, he's got to make that shot. Got a nice open look on the inside. Couldn't yeah. finish it. That's uh, number 50, a uh, Darren Ross. Couldn't be going to the line. <coughs> nope. Underneath. Kyle Flansbaum was the defense on that and when they missed the bunny. I don't know exactly what they thought he was going to do. <laughs> Rockets in his shoes or something. I don't know. Leading scorer for the North Farmington Raiders. Fires up a brick. Outlet pass. David Merritt slows it down, then takes the three. Ed Richardson in a crowd of Raiders. There we go. Got a lot, a lot of people here tonight. I guess they were able to get in their four-wheel drives and make it out here to the, the game. Uh, Raiders well represented tonight, as well as the Laker faithful from the Rafters. Coach Larry Moore believed that this team was a, uh, a better athletic team and a better shooting team than the Farmington Falcons. Absolutely. I think, I think first of all, North Farmington's moving the ball a lot better than Farmington did. There's no question about that. Creating some open looks for their players. They're also not sitting back in the zone as much as Farmington was. Another three ball, David Merritt missed. Ed Richardson working hard, puts it back. Ed Richardson, the leading scorer for the game right now. Seven points. 13 seconds to go, first quarter. Oh. Oh my, got bailed out. Got bailed out. Couple that, elbows flying there. That's all, you know, there's nothing wrong with elbows flying, but you know, the game the other night, there was nothing called. Tonight we had to have had some little touch fouls. So you just, just gotta get used to what the officiating is. Absolutely. We say that all the time in football, don't we? Just get used to it. <laughs> Not exactly word for word, but <laughs> pretty close to something like that. First free throw missed by Sean Mackler. On the season, Sean's averaging 12 points. He's also uh, North Farmington's second leading rebounder. Nice looking shot, seven seconds to go. Lakers can't be waiting back here, six seconds, five seconds. Gotta push it, gotta push it. Now he's been practicing for this shot. Oh, Mr. Merritt, fire it up. Could be true. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was nothing good about that possession. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the end of the first quarter, Lakers up 18-14 in a pretty high paced action game. Um, again, you're listening to WBTV and watching WBTV Channel 19. I think both teams trying to feel each other out in that quarter. Uh, West Bloomfield was fortunate to come out with a little bit of a lead. North Farmington is moving the ball nice. They're going to be a very formidable foe for West Bloomfield tonight. Well, I believe it. There's, uh, you know, West Bloomfield's had some games where if a team is a good shooting team from the outside, West Bloomfield has some difficulty with that team because of the fact that we like to trap and we get caught in traps. Um, and if they can re rotate the ball and hit their open shots, it's anybody's game. Absolutely. The uh, Rochester Adams. Uh, Team came in here and shot about 90% from the floor. Oh, that was amazing. Just, just, you know, beat us by 40 points. They just didn't miss a shot. But no matter what side of the floor was on, but no matter who we had in the game defensively, they were hitting their open jumpers. And when you're hitting your jumpers, you know, pretty much it's, it's your game. Mm -hmm. So 18-14, uh, second quarter, about ready to begin. We got McComb. We got uh, Leach, sophomore. We got the big fellow, number 21, Sean Meckler in the game. 13, Robert, Robert White. 
And I'm missing 33. The leading scorer, you believe, is Al um, Casputis. Casputis, correct? No, Gary Kennedy. Gary Kennedy. 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 I'm sorry, Kennedy. K fly dribbling up court. For the Lakers, it's pretty much uh, status quo with the guard play. They've uh, added um, Terrence Turner, T squared as he's known here, Julian Frazier to the mix. So we went a little bigger and a little more athletic on the inside. We'll see if this comes back uh, as we, Kevin Lamb sits down for a uh, little bit of a break. There's that trap. Nice looking defense. They need to rotate the ball a little bit. That's yeah. all. A little two-man game between Kyle and David right now. I'm going to tell you what, he can hit that shot. I don't care what anybody says. You, There you go. Ooh. Just keep moving it. Oh, oh my gosh. Right you got to call that. He got slapped right across the face so hard. Everybody heard it right in front of the official and no call. Holy mackerel. I guess uh, the old adage, no blood. No, no foul. foul. <laughs> he has officially been Raider slapped. <laughs> We've been seeing the whistles been put away quite a bit. <laughs> I, if I was Kyle, I'd just go right in there because you pretty much get a chance for a There call. it is. There yeah. it is. <laughs> Kyle retaliates with a bucket. <laughs> that's an open shot for Kyle. It is. Hey, that's, he practices that <laughs> stuff in here constantly. Oh, 33, that's Gary Kennedy, the 6'1 junior. Is that a phenomenal call by the Lakers? Could possibly be a little makeup call for the slap in the face. <laughs> um, let's talk about North Farmington this year, their uh, overall record and the fact that I believe they were Division Three champs, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Nice dish from Kyle Flansbaum to Julian Frazier for a two. Wow. North Farmington was 12 and two this year. Division three champions beating out Seahawk. They were 14 and six overall. That's a pretty nice record all the way around. David Merritt getting good rebound. Nice box out. And you know when those guards get the ball, they have one thing in mind. That's to get to the front court. Oh, big Ed. Not much spacing over there in the corner. A lot of guys. That ball kicked out there by number 13, Robert White. West Bloomfield, second place finish in, in Division Two. Oh, that's off David Merritt. And West Bloomfield will retain the ball. You know what, that probably, probably a makeup call right there. They probably got it. If it happens, don't you think it don't? It's good to be here tonight. Join, oh, David Merritt down the middle. Baby Merritt, we say Baby Merritt because the uh, Big Merritt's playing down at Kent State right now, so. Nice drop step. That's a nice looking play. There we go. Well done. Notice how he never brought the ball below his, below his shoulders right there. Didn't give the defender a chance to react to it. <laughs> That's good fundamental basketball. Use the glass too. That's better fundamental basketball. Glass man. Glass, glass man. Glass man, 24-16, 5.45 to uh, go in the half. The uh, first game tonight between Losser and Harrison was won by Losser. So Friday's championship game was set up, the winner of this tilt, and the Blue uh, Hills loss. Oh boy, long pass. David Merritt got two behind him. He nice dish inside, that. Ed Richardson with the bunny. <laughs> Big Ed's taking advantage of his height, athleticism, and hard work inside. You can see West Bloomfield extending the defense. There's the sophomore with the ball right now, backdoor cut. Julian Frazier disrupted that shot a little bit. McCoom tosses it to the top. And number five, Matt Leach. There's McCoom with the ball, back to uh, Leach. Rawis with the ball, nope, 13, Robert White. McCoom working down low on Merritt. Oh, Ooh, might have stepped on the baseline that's there. That's great defense right there. And there's a wide open look. Big no, oh, you don't want to go in there. Looked like a clean block. He got the, you know, it's so loud in here, you couldn't even hear the whistle yeah. on that one. The uh, refs are out of breath, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of the officials, we'll give them their due. That's uh, um, Joe uh, Kovalich and Brent Turner doing the game tonight as it 
as all, there's the two officials from uh, the state tournament. Two officials all the way through. We're used to three with the LAA, but we've got two, so. Matt Leach missing the first two from the line. Matt Leach for the Raiders is uh, the leader in assists. Also pouring in two points a game. Wow, you guys got it going on. That's why he's the best stat man in WB TV history. Oh. You know, West Bluefield able to get some minutes out of uh, some young guys, Terrence Turner, Julian Frazier. Want to try to get that out of the trap zone, keep the ball in the middle when you're breaking the zone or breaking the press. David Merritt attacking. Yeah. Yeah, and they call him for an offensive foul. Merritt's not too happy about that call, but I think he forced the issue on that play. It, you know what? It is what it is. Had, like, any kind of charges, you know, judgment calls, that's what it is. To me, it looked like he got there. 26 18, 424 to go. Second quarter. Leach with the ball. Sophomore guard. Pounding the ball. Nice dish inside. Julia. This is the bunny. Julia a little Frazier. baby hook. <laughs> There's the trap. There's the nice trap. Leach with the foul. Fouls right now, it's seven to five. Lakers with uh, seven of those bad boys. Zach, Zach Hilbert's about ready to enter the game. Looks like the Raiders are being really physical with Kyle Flansbaum. They, they want to get the ball out of his hands. You know, he's the kind of guy that makes things happen for everybody else. So if you get the ball out of his hands, they don't believe he's going to be as, as um, harmful to them um, as a defense to get the thing out of his hands. If he keeps it in there, he's able to drive and dish do some great things. He's done it his entire career. Um, phenomenal little player. <laughs> you know it's and going. And there he is right there. I, I tell you what, I knew it was going when it left his hand. <laughs> no words really to describe what just happened there. <laughs> well, just a floater. That's what we need out of Kyle. We need him to attack that zone. That's right. Get open looks. Marcus McComb. A little fade away. Nice looking shot. Ed Richardson clears. Wow. Terrence Turner getting a little pressure from McComb. Here comes the trap. The trap. Now that's a that's a big mistake for Terrence Turner, but his height so good. Got to move his the ball. Length. Oh, he got travel. Got away with it. <laughs> nice entry past the Hilbers. Uh -oh. North Farmington's gonna trap down there. They gotta stop the baseline. Hilbers. Comes in and active right off the bat. Looking for Ed Richardson on the wing. Look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Real nice spacing by the Lakers. Up Ed three. Richardson back to Merritt for the deuce. Nice job. West Bluefield just pushing the ball at uh, a crazy pace. The West Bluefield 500 pace. High speed, baby. Leach with the ball. Uh. <laughs> North Farms are running a little high-low action. Oh, oh Ed Richardson skill. reading the passing lane to Turner. Might see a little dipsy do. Oh, Turner. <laughs> he didn't really know what he wanted to do, I think. He knew. He said it's going in. He didn't really know what he, he just knew he was going to throw it up, I think. <laughs> he, I think he was throwing it up for the alley oop and it just went in. What the heck? Two points for Terrence Turner, the sophomore. Six foot three inch sophomore, long armed athlete. North Farmington's not careful. Finish a half here that West Bloomfield might be able to pull up a pretty, uh, Pretty insurmountable lead. You know, the uh, championship teams always say that you, you, you finish the quarter strong. You know, on an upswing. If you finish on the wall, it can really cost you in that next the, the next half or whatever. North Farmington has went away from their game plan. They went more one-on-one -on -one since the first quarter. That kept them in the game, 18-14. And they've scored four points in the second quarter because they just have missed a lot of bunnies. And they've stopped the rotation of the ball. Get some wide open looks. Of course, don't take anything away from West Bloomfield's defense. Oh, Big Ed's doing a good job down Very low. suffocating. Very suffocating defense right now. Excellent. Now, did you guys see the uh, the Georgia um, Florida game last night on TV? Bits and pieces. Didn't get to see. Oh, all I was of busy it. Uh, getting uh, lesson plans ready for. Yeah, time. you were you were busy doing your snow dance, and it worked. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's out there tapping away, looking for the snow. He's the snow miser today. It worked. Leach with the ball. Let's see if they can rotate it this time. Mackler's working hard inside. Zach Hilbert's trying to deny the ball. Doing a good job denying the ball. 
Back to White. Good rotation by West Bluefield. Yep. Really keeping pressure on that ball. We'll say this, North Farmington does. Well, there we go. There That's a three. shot. That's Robert White. Once again, Robert top White of the key. Three. Hit one there earlier today. Robert White just hit a scoring average of that three-pointer. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. it's in goodness. again. Big head from the feed from David Merritt. Wow. That's exciting. High flying. Robert Rib White. Rocking action, baby. Oh, Robert He's White. He's feeling it tonight. He is feeling it. North Farmton answers. Robert White with the big three-pointer. Robert White in fuego. Oh. Kyle Flansbaum. That's Kyle Flansbaum at his best right there. Drive him to the hole, got the foul. I think Kyle might be a little sore after tonight's game. He's getting beat up <laughs> out there. And they say it's not a contact sport, right guys? <laughs> Jeez, Al. Laker cheerleaders and uh, oh, went some tennis tonight, going crazy. Okay, we got a, uh, a situation where the Kyle uh, Flash bomb going to the line. Nails the first one, 35-24. Again, this is district action, second round action of uh, the West Bloomfield District hosting this whole thing. North Farmington Raiders coming in, winning the uh, OAA Division III title, 14-6 record. I'm taking on the uh, second place in Division II, West Bloomfield Lakers. Absolutely. West Bloomfield up 36 to 24 now. If you're the Raiders right now, you got to be thinking you want to enter the half down by 10 or less. I think they need to be looking at their leading scorer, Kennedy, to step up for him, make some shots. Right now, he hasn't had a really There's Meckler trying to dribble. He traveled. Yes, he did. Good job. You know, that's a, uh, I, think that's a, I think that's a player that tried to do more than he was actually capable of doing on that. Yeah. Good defense by Ed Richardson to come and trap. And uh, Kyle Flansbaum. There we comes. go. That's who you want to have the ball right you got now. got it. Kyle setting it up. Oh, oh get it oh. <laughs> Almost muscled it up and in. He did. That's a nice job by Zach Hilbers. Great pass by Kyle Flansbaum. They've been doing it since about the fifth grade, I think. Um, nothing different right there. One fifteen to go. Second quarter action. Elvis at the line. Nails the first one. 37-24. Great composure at the line so far for the Lakers today. Last foul was on number 21. His third foul, Sean Mackler. That's a big foul. Takes a lot of size out of the North Farmington lineup. Well, also a little bit of offensive punch. They, he's been uh, pretty active inside. That's right. They so, use their inside presence all of the first half. You still, I think you're a... Uh, Coach Lotch is correct when he talks about uh, Kennedy not really being active in the game, but again, he's shadowed by Ed Richardson right now, and that's not a, an admirable place to be because Ed plays great defense. McComb with the ball. Back Rodney to White. White with the ball. Rouse. Back to White. And there's, there's Gary Kennedy. Kennedy with the ball. Need some help. Wow, a lot of pressure by Ed Richardson. Adjusted that shot a little bit. I think we're going to let Ed shoot, uh, have Ed play defense like that. We'll be all right. Oh, here oh, we go again. It is again. Rim rocker. That's what Three, like oh, my baby. God. Pandemonium That's... here at the Laker Dome. He can throw it down, baby. The Raiders are going to take a timeout. <laughs> West Bloomfield storms out to a 40 to 24 lead. Incredible. You know, West Bloomfield, you think, okay, 30 seconds to go. They get the rebound. They're going to slow it down for the last shot. Not the Lakers, baby. High octane. Throw it down. Big Ed, the Big recipient Ed. of a beautiful pass. Um, he played uh, it on both ends there. Made a great defensive stop. Got rewarded. down the court. Gets a great alley oop look. That's and right. That always is, that's always it. reward the big guy for running the court. That's, that's right. right. You know, and Big Ed, you know, being our center, center at times, power forward, he's basically a guard in height and stature in most college programs. And uh, here he plays center and beats up on some big people or meets some big people. And he holds his own very, very well. The crowd is just humming out there right now with the... Uh, <laughs> Ed Richardson's flight. 30 seconds to go. I believe they'll take the whole 30 seconds as McComb says I'm taking it in. Setting it up for Kennedy. 
Oh, <laughs> Kennedy denied again. Another block. Terrence Turner or is that Ed Richardson coming over? I think no, it was Ed. Turner. Oh, was it Turner on no, that? No, it was Terrence. Terrence. T squared being athletic. Watch the guy out of bounds. Always watch the guy out of bounds. Rodney, Robert White. Oh, that's a hold. And probably a good foul. Oh, right there. Don't get Sending Kennedy to the easy. line. Now the thing is, will the Lakers, would they get this ball back? Will they run the whole 18 or will they take five? <laughs> <laughs> Questions that anybody's to guess on that one. This broadcast put together once again by the WBTV media, um, district media department running the show. Randy Long producing the whole thing. Appreciate the work that he does. Got uh, Eric Goodman not only doing our technical goodies, but he's also running the camera for us. And I believe that, that one of the Littmans up there. Oh, look at this. Anthony Weaver in the game for the Lakers right now. Careful the over and back. I think we might have gotten away with one there. As it's tight. It's close. There's the guy we want to have the ball. Kyle Flans bomb a little behind the back oh, dribble. Again, he gets hammered and no call. Jeez Louise. They're attacking. They're attacking him. It's all right, though. They know. Maybe he's too small. They don't see it. He's getting <laughs> hammered. <laughs> he got the foul on that one. He's more than the line. He'll get rewarded. Absolutely. A chance to get a couple of three points here. Chance to get Big Ed out of the game right now. Don't want any unnecessary falls at the end of the half. Or injury. Anything crazy like that. You know, West Brookfield should be pretty happy with uh, Mondo Martin uh, sitting most of the second quarter and us having a, pretty much having our way with North Farmington. St stretching the lead. We went from a four-point lead and then stretched it up to a 15-point uh, um, lead. It just models what Coach Moore was saying on the, after Monday night's game about how we have three of the finest guards in the, in the area right now, and they bo all pick up slack for each other. It's nice to see. Active, boys, active. Well, that's incredible. I tell you what. End of the first half action, second round game against West Bloomfield, North Farmington. Score 41-26. We'll be right back with some statistics in a minute. back. We're at halftime right now as the West Bloomfield Lakers are leading the North Farmington Raiders 41-26. And joining me for a special halftime interview, Coach Mike Shewick. Coach Shewick, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing excellent. It's just an excellent game right now and I'm happy as can be. What do you think the strengths of West Bloomfield has been so far this year? We're talking about the basketball team. <laughs> I just want to make sure which sport we were on. I tell you what, the team is so well balanced and exciting that they all, everyone uh, does their job out there and takes a share in every game. Okay, now, as far as North Farmington's concerned, I don't know, as far as your, your, your basketball knowledge, it's vast, you're one of those kind of guys that crosses over sports. You've done them all. Now, North Farmington, what do they gotta do in the second half to try to get back in this thing? They're gonna have to shut down our outside shot, and they're gonna have to shut down uh, Eddie. If they can stop Eddie, 
they'll have a good shot at it. Now, us. Big Ed looks like he's got to go seven foot in the high jump this year with the way he's going up there, isn't he? Eddie's just unbelievable, but that's four years of hard work right there. You know, if we give him a reg, he'll go up there and clean the rafters for us. What do you think? He can, uh, yeah, I think he'd get about that high. <laughs> well, thank you very much. This is Coach Mike Shewag, teacher in the building, uh, phenomenal coach, one of the greatest people that you'll ever meet. <laughs> I swear, the best person you ever meet, unless, of course, you know, you got other people out there that may be nicer. I don't know. Coach Shewak, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ready to go here in the second half as West Bloomfield leading 41 26 against North Farmington. Um, an exciting first half action for the Lakers, guys. What do you think? Absolutely. I think uh, North Farmington might be a little overwhelmed with how fast the pace of game West Bloomfield plays. A comb from the wow. win. There we go. Start off with an opening three. That's always a good thing. You know, but, you know, certain shooters are not looking for their shot for uh, North Farmington. Um, you got guys like Robert White who's being left wide open, averaging three a game. And uh, the guys that are supposed to be the scores. oh, there's Mondo getting knocked down, loses possession. North Farmington gets a turnover. The right scores for North Farmington in the first half was uh, Sean Meckler with nine, and again, Robert White with a surprising nine. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Marcus McComb with three. He also, didn't he just hit that three-pointer? That's right. And then Gary Kennedy, their leading scorer, the West Bloomfield Lakers held him to only two points. That foul on Robert White as uh, Kevin Lamb had nice position. For the Lakers in the first half, we had uh, Ed Richardson leading the way with 12 points and some fine, nasty dunks. <laughs> also had Kyle Flash. Uh, help Flash me with Flash Bob. I, I always screw up his name. <laughs> He's got nine. Also, David Maraport in nine with uh, Mondo Martin scoring a quiet seven. And there goes the uh, crossover, the slick crossover by Kyle Flash Bob. Takes it right into Robert White. Gets another foul on him, and that is his third foul. So right now, North Farmington has two players with three fouls each. Look Ron at this. Found right down the middle. Not a kind roll. Meckler with the rebound. Meckler and Robert Wright with two, three fouls each. Leading score. Oh, oh Mondo on. Martin reads the passing lane. Take it strong. And he got the deuce. Coast to coast, though, Mondo Martin. That's a great, that is a great job by Mondo Martin. Body control, and he just, you know, certain guys that can finish. Mackler on the inside with the turnaround, Jay. Nothing there. Robert White chases it down. Oh, there's a nice physical play by Big Ed. <laughs> you see the look on Kevin Lamb's face. A questionable call there. I'm not sure if, if the boy had even got himself turned to even Give himself a foul on that, but give the officials the benefit of the doubt. 43-29, 6.39 to go, third quarter. It's not like we'd ever disagree with an official. Nah, never. <laughs> if we think it's so easy, go put on some shirts, striped shirts, right? Exactly. <laughs> Most difficult, difficult thing to do in sports is officiate. And hit a baseball. Hit a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you got two baseball guys here. Hitting an 88 eight mile an hour fastball might be the hardest thing to do. <laughs> but no. you, yeah, you guys sound like Mark McGuire now. They <laughs> hit it. They don't hit it. Wait on the 80, 80 mile an hour fastball. Ooh. Kyle, nice with the fish pass. inside to David Merritt with the deuce. Ah, great bomb. basketball. The lamb to Merritt. Great basketball. Looking like the Lakers. Showtime. Wow. Leach with the ball, sophomore. Oh, Rawas just about got that one picked off as McComb looks like he's trying to become a little more offensive. Great defense by Mondo Martin. Leach takes it to White. Into Rawas and count it. Plus one. That's Rawas' first bucket of the game. He's uh, North Farmington's big rebounder. You know, North Farmington, West Bloomfield have been going at this district for quite a few years and have led to a lot of exciting basketball and, and exciting finishes. Um, a few years ago, last shot of the game, it went down to um, Lakers fouled the shooter um, on a three-point, just a desperate attempt to try to break a tie. North Farmington with the steal. McCombs going up strong for the layup. 
And they cut the lead to nine. Collins doing a quick five in the first half. Mondo a little out of control. And the official agreed. Again, he forced the, forced the issue again on that one. That's hard, you know, in, in this situation right there, the uh, tried to make something happen. He did go in. He did create the contact. That's whether Mondo's they, third foul. Whether they were set, who knows? You know, Terrence, Mondo's third foul. T-square enters the game. Terrence Turner. You see Kyle Flansbaum just being a jitterbug. Just a Leach pain just trying to get rid of that ball. The butt. There's a double Mackler. dribble. He did. He certainly did. So North Farmington and, and uh, the Lakers trading turnovers. Yep. And you can see here comes that full court look. Looks like they're going to the box. North trying to force some turnovers here with the press. Uh-oh, he lifts them open. Now they're closing in a flan foam. They look weak side right now. There's a the little trip. trip. Little trip by Mackler. Yep. That'd be four on Mackler. That That's is a, huge. That is a huge foul in the third quarter to have four on uh, big, big, big. Four big fouls on Mackler. It's a good opportunity for uh, the Lakers to take advantage of it. The low post threats now. So Kyle Flansbaum shows his uh, value to the team, handling the ball, breaking down that uh, zone. The weak side player is just like money for Kyle Flansbaum as he has always got his head up as he's dribbling. Hey, while we have the opportunity, I just want to say that was an excellent interview you had with uh, Coach Mike Shewak. <laughs> I hope everybody noticed how wonderful a uh, uh, patterned sweater he had on this evening. <laughs> Absolutely. He's and uh, in case you wondered what the tape on his thumb was from, that's from putting on his pants today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cutting edge in the world of fashion, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, but he looks pretty good, I thought. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a good day for him, so I, imagine. He, he's matching, he's doing okay. You know, and the one thing about Mike in, in sports is that he's he's probably coached every sport <laughs> that there ever has been. <laughs> Kevin Lamb with an elbow jumper. That's a big shot. Leach with the ball. He's probably looking to get rid of it right about now. As yeah, he don't want to see Kyle. <laughs> oh, who's got a little it? confused with the ball? Big Ed takes it. There we go again. Oh, oh Ed. No. Now you went on three. <laughs> he got excited. He got a little excited. Got the foul on Leach on the reach. He wanted to bring the house down. North Farmington fans demonstrating a lot of sportsmanship. Having, having a tough time. It's, it's you got to remember, you, you got to be a sportsman in the fans, in the, in the stands. Ed. Ed Richardson has the highest arc and free throw shot I've ever seen. He, he can bring rain. Watch how high this ball goes. He likes to, he, he, someone told him to put some arc on that thing. Can't cash in on any from the line. There's Kyle Flansbaum being, being a pain again. There, there it is. is. There's there the pick, reading the passing lane again. They need to get the ball out of number 50's hands. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. He's usually not the one that handles the ball for him. But boom, there's Kennedy with the open three. Nice looking shot. Doesn't get it to drop. T squared. Rips it off the floor. Hilbert is driving down the lane. Nice rebound by Richardson. Puts it back. Ed's really pumped up this game. He's playing a great game right now. He's, he's not only good on the uh, scoring front, but he's also a big time rebounder on the offensive end. You can see with Sean Meckler out of the game, the rebounds are falling our way. And, and looking over at the score, scorer's table, looks like he's about to enter again. They real and there's the, there uh -oh. we go, the run out. There's Merritt, McComb on him. North Farmington not getting back on D. McComb looking for it. Rowis, nice dip down into, wow. Number 13, Robert, Robert White, White misses a bunny. This game's a little out of control right now. That uh, McComb with the foul. Entering the game for North Farmington, number 21, uh, Sean Meckler. 
and number 22, David Grant. It's interesting they're bringing Mackler back into the game with four fouls. He could I, be sitting for the rest. I think Coach Negotian thinks if this league gets any, any larger, they're not going to have it tomorrow, so he's, he's going to go with what he's got. If I'm the Lakers right here, I attack. Attack the inside. Yeah, I'd go right to Ed Richardson right now. There he is, Ed Richardson with the ball. And they got him too. They got him too. They fouled Ed and they, they let him, they let it go. Kyle Flansbaum said, I know what to do. <laughs> David Merritt with the ball. Yeah. Got another charge. Ooh. Number 20, what was it, uh, 44. Takes the charge, Mark, Matt Clark, 6'1", senior. That's his forte, Mark Clark, the defensive stopper. You know what, that's, that's another, that's the third foul on David Merritt, so Mondo Martin and David Merritt both are three. That's, that's great defense. McCall again, hey. hits the three. There we go. 10 point lead. The Goshi thought he was fouled on that three as well. Cuts the lead to 10. Kick out to Merritt for the oh, three. Oh, he got hit on the end. Ed Richardson once again. Oh. oh, travel. A lot of bodies flying. They're letting him play. Hey, uh, Big Ed got knocked down. And, oh, there's another foul didn't get called. A lot of there's a foul right there. Right. Just hey. a foul right there. There's a technical. Technical foul, number two, Marcus McComb lost his cool there. What, what, what Zach Hilbers doesn't know is he got a technical too. Who else got a technical? I believe they gave one to Zach and they gave one to McComb and they might have tossed McComb. That was an absolute headlock as he brought Zach Hilbers Absolutely. down to the ground. You know what, you could see that happening in this game as the officials were kind of letting stuff go. And you know what, that's what you get. If you're not gonna call stuff and keep things under control, that's the kind of play you're gonna end up with. Looks like football season's coming early for the, for the Raiders. <laughs> this game has really picked up in intensity right now. You can feel it in the arena. <laughs> As uh, all, all of the uh, North Farmington crowd is up, and the West Bloomfield fans, of course, willing to, to get involved in this uh, fricus, fricus. West Bloomfield right now needs to keep their cool. They don't want to enter that kind of game. No, they got a 10-point lead. They're, things are going their way. You can't let North Farmington distract them with these uh, silliness. I think they, I thought they had a double technical, but I, I must have been wrong on it. I thought Zach Hilbert's got one too. Oh, you would think it'd be a flagrant foul. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Kyle throws the free throw. Cool as ice from the line. And you know what's bad is that North Farmington was making a run. They lost their composure because of a couple calls they didn't get. They lost the composure, and now instead of being down 10 and having the ball, they are down 12, and the Lakers have a chance to extend the lead. That's just a lack of focus by a bunch of kids that have played hard all year long, and, you know, maybe a, a moment's loss of composure. Hopefully North can get it back. Ed Richardson cutting to the middle. Sure. Nice shot. shot. Nice shot. <laughs> What Leach says, I got it. Here's that Kyle Flansbaum defense again. He just smothers him. No crossover. Look at nice that. steal oh, by Kyle Flansbaum. Flansbaum. Leading the break now. Nice job by McComb. Wow. There we go. A lot of action in the game right now. Marco Marcus. Martins checking back in. Looks like he's coming in for David Merritt. Marcus McComb with a beautiful strip right there. A Kyle Flansbaum. Oh. Julian Frazier a little out of his range. Foul on Martin, that's four. Coach Moore is going to have to do, take out Mondo right now with four fouls. You got to get him out. You got to get him out. Said he looked down. The... Do you know why there's a stop at your play here? I have no clue. I believe that the uh, the coaches were checking to see 
exactly who the foul was on. Possibly giving Lakers a chance to bring somebody else in the game. It didn't work, though. As, uh, Coach Moore is uh, going to take his chances here. If North Farmington's smart, they're going to go right after Mondo right now. And Robert White had the ball. Mackler on the inside. Now, I, you know, one thing about the Lakers, I didn't understand Julian Frazier taking that play. Mondo's got to be oh, careful. Mondo oh. still picks it. Nice dish. Get in there. Oh, oh, wow. Great dish by Mondo Martin to Zach Hilbers. Goes up strong. Gets fouled. We got the crowd controls about ready to come on over as the, uh, the Newton Farmington fan base has really, really risen to the occasion tonight. That was a great pass, but I got to believe that Mondo's got to be coming out of the game here. The third quarter with a minute 47 left. It, you know, he's fouled out of games early before. There we go, making sure that Mondo doesn't get his fifth foul. And the crowd is as plumbed out by Dwayne Jones doing his thing. The emotions are running high here tonight. And Zach Hilbers cashes in on both from the line. 55 to 39, Lakers. 55-39, West Bloomfield, one minute 41 to go in third quarter. But I tell you what, Kennedy has, has, isn't even in the game. McComb looks like the only guy that has comfort shooting the ball. At Kyle on Julian Frazier. Fighting for yeah, position. Kennedy had a couple uh, a couple looks early, didn't make him. Maybe his confidence is struggling right now, and Coach Negotiation's not even going to him. He says, look, if you're not willing to step up, you know, there's no use in having you in the game. That's, hard, that's a hard line on uh, a guy that's, you know, one of your players that you're looking for next year, you know, as a junior. But, you know, you, you learn from things. Oh. Mackler at the line, misses the one. Not do, North Farms did not doing anything they need to do to try to get back in this thing. Had an opportunity to get some points with no time off the clock, and they failed to cash in. Oh, almost over and back. Open three-pointer. Bingo. Oh. And Ed oh, Richardson. Foul. 13, Robert White, his fourth foul. Ed Richardson really playing tough on the inside. Wow, he he went up strong for that rebound. His head was way above the rim. <laughs> My God. Ed is really, he's a man possessed out there on the glass tonight. Here comes Kennedy back in the ball game to get some kind of offensive spark for these uh, North Farmington Raiders. He's coming struggling in, right now. Coming in for David Grant. Yeah, right now McComb is really the only player that looks like um, he's comfortable shooting the ball, but he's been, you know, hit and miss. And there's Ed Richardson. There's that nice one. The Lakers in, uh, in last Friday's game was 24 for 27 from the free throw line. That showed how physical the game was on Friday. On Monday, the Lakers were pretty successful from the free throw line also, but not nearly 27 attempts. Tonight, I think we may get close to that. I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, <laughs> yesterday I practiced. I did work with some of the basketball players on the free throw shooting. That's, you know what? You the man. That's Coach Lacha <laughs> doing his part. I rebounded sure for Mondo for about 45 minutes, put my hand in his face, and he made everything. So. <laughs> And, and now he's sitting on the bench because he's got Now he's on the bench because he's on everybody. <laughs> Ed Richardson cashes in on both. Two more for the leading scorer in the game. Boy. Somebody better pick up McComb. Wow, there it and is. And Zach Hilbers yeah, with defensive. a nice block. Nice block. Zach giving some valuable minutes tonight. Great job by the senior, three sports star. North Farmington just standing around waiting for him to shoot the ball. There's that Richardson, needs to box out yep. better. And Gary Kennedy oh. pushes off. Kennedy Definitely pushed rebound. off, I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, the uh, North Farmington is just bewildered right now as Lakers look to take this thing up 20. I think that uh, that <coughs> takedown and the technical foul, you can see that right there. That's really changed the whole uh, composure of the game. And you know what? Coaches, coaches dread that kind of situation. You want your kids to compete, but you've got to know where to draw the line. Yep. And North Farmington looks rattled right now. Right. Got a little long on that effort by Ed. Not as much arc there. No. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow Ed and I will get after it. <laughs> well, right now, the uh, I'll go back and kind of review a couple things. On Monday, Lakers got here by beating Farmington Falcons by 32. 
Tonight's, my alma mater. Alma yeah, mater. They, they all, I got all matters all over the place right here. Yeah, tonight, Eric Pierce is North Farmington Raiders. North Farmington Raiders, as Pierce is basically as hard as in one place, but his mind is in another. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mr. Pierce could say that for a lot of other things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a pretty good line. Yeah. Look, oh, oh a little side of the backboard. Gary Kennedy gets the rebound to Mackler. Nothing doing. Lakers come out. And there's there. Big Ed Richardson again. You can see Kennedy is frustrated. And North Farm to not getting back on D. Zach with Beautiful move. move. Split the defenders. Going right in after Mackler. He knows he's got four fouls. There's Mackler. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Gary Kennedy again, Kennedy again with a miss. Oh, and a nice block by Julian Frazier. I think he had a little hope from uh, Zach Hilbers on that as well. Seven Anthony seconds. Weaver. Zach pulls up, shoots. Off the back end. Tough rebound by Ed. Get in there. Oh. oh. Big Ed going to the line. Ed a baby. Ed, way to work hard out there. Big Ed. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. He's doing a much run. Zach Hilbers, great energy off the bench. Anthony Weaver, great energy off the bench. Julian Frazier, big time block on the other end. I'm telling you what, the bench is doing it for the Lakers tonight. Absolutely. Couldn't ask for a bigger heart out of Eddie Richardson. Oh. Man, he struggled a little bit at the free throw line. Third foul on number five, the sophomore, Matt Leach. Edge missed two, three in a row. Got it. No stupid fouls here. No stupid fouls. You might as well let Mackler go. shoot. Oh, in and out. Just as I was saying, let Mackler shoot that he rims it from half court. Oh. My God. That, that thing looked good from here. Wow. <laughs> now that is exciting stuff right now as the Lakers going into the fourth quarter. It leads 61-39. We'll be right back after this. Commanding lead over North Farmington. 61-39. Lakers can run some clock right now to uh, take, basically just take the air out of the ball. North Farmington's got to pressure the ball. They got to force turnovers. They want to get back in the game. Anthony Weaver with Great. a nice up fake drains the long two. Anthony Weaver stepping up with Mondo on without the fouls. Four <laughs> fouls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this game just totally got, got out of hand for right. North Farmington after that technical foul. In, in my opinion, the Lakers were basically in a position to be kind of had that they had a little momentum going. You know, they had momentum going. And then a couple of stupid things happened, and the Lakers woke up. And yep. you know, I, to me, it looks to me like you don't want to wake the Lakers up because they are a dangerous team when they are focused and on a mission. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Lakers, by far and away, look like they have the better athletic ability out there. And when they set their minds to it, they're just destroying this North Farmington Raiders team. We got the North Farmington crowd just going crazy out here. It feels like college action right That's now. That's right, my God. It feels like the Cameron Crazy's back here. <laughs> you got to give North Farmington's crowd a little bit of credit here where they're down 63-39. Hey, I love it. That's that's what it's about. You know, they got some pride. They follow their teams. They get some, excited about things. Um, you got to love that kind of stuff. Julian Frazier, Zach Helbers, Anthony Weaver, Ed Richardson, Kyle Flanspaum on the floor for the Lakers. We got uh, McComb, um, Leach, Rowis. Um, Meckler and, uh, let me see, who's the other? 33, which is Gary Kennedy. He's done so, unfortunately, had such a tough night, you can't remember his name. That's absolutely right. Gary Kennedy basically getting shut out here. He had the two free throw makes at the end of the first half, but that was about it, I think. And if North Prime didn't want any hope of getting back in it, they're going to have to go right there. Three ball. Man, at least, least nails a three. Look for Gary Kennedy to make some shots for him. There's Anthony Weaver dribbling the ball up court. Yeah. Here comes the trap. Get it out of there. There we go. Oh, there we go. They're forcing some turnovers. A little miscommunication between the Lakers there. I tell you, it, my, the 21 point lead right now, 7.04 to go, fourth quarter. Second round, district action. Julian Frazier with his third foul. That looked like Julian took one right square in the mouth before the play actually happened. A lot of threes up there right now. Three, three, threes. The Lakers in the fourth quarter just need to take care of the basketball. Sure, absolutely. Run some of that clock with a big lead. Keep doing what they're doing. They don't need to get crazy. Back home, this is another free throw. You know, fundamentals of the game, you got to make your free throws. Don't turn the ball over and get good shots. Play solid defense. The Lakers have done that to the tone of about a 21-point lead. Anthony Weaver getting some nice action in here right now. 
Senior, guard. Julian Frazier gets it back. And a traveling call on Frazier. Lakers need to regain their composure right now. Once again, with the big lead, they just got to choose some clock. 6.49 to go. Got the Kremlin, the North Farmington Rowdies behind me going nuts. McComb, <laughs> big shooter. There he is. There, there's Kennedy. Kennedy with a bucket. Weak side rebounder. Puts back a bunny. 18 point lead. Get a full timeout by, by Coach Moore, Lakers. I think I this is absolutely a good time for a timeout for Coach Moore. Sure. Lakers losing a little bit of focus right now. They need to understand with this big of a lead, they just need to hang on to the ball. No turnovers. Well, Play fundamental basketball. He's also telling some of the reserves, say, look, this is your chance. This is your time. Do what I ask you to do. Pass the ball. We need to run some clock. And, uh, you know, hopefully our kids will come out here and respond to it. You know, we look like we're, you don't want to put the game away as far as just dribbling around, but you want to get a good, op good offensive shot. And you don't want to quit that thing on the offensive rebound. But Ed Richardson sitting down, and he's been a beast That's on the right. offensive boards tonight. Absolutely. Kevin Lamb taking a drink over there right now. Uh, Mondo Martin back in the game. David Merritt back in the game. Coach so Moore right. going back. You got all three of your better ball handlers back in the game right, right now, and that's exactly. important. You want to keep keep good care of the basketball. This way out, the game will be uh, should be out of uh, North Farmington's reach. 18 point lead by the uh, Lakers, but the North Farmington has whittled it down because it was up to 22, 24. So White, Kennedy, Mackler, McComb, and Leach. Okay, smart with the basketball Actually, now. number 10. Just keep moving. Keep moving the ball. Wait for a good shot. There we go. Don't this is what we're anything. talking about right there here. Nice ball movement. Mondo Martin with the that. open shot, and he cans it. That, now, you worked on that shot with him yesterday, you said. Yeah, there was no was. hand in his face, though. This <laughs> he didn't time. need a hand in his face for that one. <laughs> Mackler on the inside. Oh, Zach Hilber's up strong. Zach. A good rebound, but didn't come down with it. Here we go, Martin North Farmington with a full court press on. Looks like they're starting to trap there at half court, but not much to it. We got Kyle Flesbaum dribbling away. Nice Look at him break by that. Kyle. There Break's you go. Ankles. Very Break smart by ankles. Kyle. No point. Just beautiful beautiful job. Beautiful job by the Lakers here right now. The clock is, is the North Farmington Raiders' enemy right now, and the Lakers are doing a good job running some off. David Merritt thrown to the lane. Zach Hilber is up with the rebound and the putback. Excellent job by number 24. 20 point lead by the Lakers. 519 to go. There's Kennedy. There he is. He's waking up. Whoop. Might just be a little bit, or a little too, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. A little, a little too bit, a little, uh, little bit too late. <laughs> too little, too late. Too late. There it is. A little too late. Yeah. All right. right. The one. I knew we'd get it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> such a Michigan Kevin graduate. Lamb clap. Take the Kevin Lamb clap for that one. <laughs> Cut the Lamb clap. <laughs> so, All right. And the crowd's going crazy still for the North Farmington Rowdies as they are going nuts. Big Ed Richardson in the game, Zach Hilbers, two seniors going crazy. Kyle Flansbaum, Mondo Martin. They're all loving it. David Merritt, incredible. Hey, I don't remember North Farmington uh, when you were there, going there, Mr. Pierce, having that much uh, uh, enthusiasm from the crowd. Do you remember that? Uh, heart of a lion. They all have hearts of lions lion right back there. I, I'm impressed right now. Zach Hilbert's getting another free throw because of a lane violation on the first okay. foul shot. White goes out of the game. Second foul on zero. I'm not sure. I don't have a... Oh, Greg oh, Schumer. Zero, Greg Sorry. Schumer. Looks like possibly North Farmington going to their bench. And so Hilbert's connects. Back. There we go. Back to a 19-point lead David Grant for the also Lakers. in the ball game, number 22. McComb. Kennedy. Got Schumer with the ball. Got to get it to Meckler. Offensive foul on Kennedy. And Coach Negotia going nuts. He might be getting a technical. He, he does get he teed up. Did. Coach Negotia said the word finally after three quarters of dancing around it. Wow. <laughs> he might have. I don't know. The lack of focus. All I know is Coach Negotia's always been one of the uh, a lot of a fiery spirit to very him. Very Sometimes, feisty, very sometimes he gets a little carried away, but 
he's an excellent coach. David Merritt's going to shoot the technical fouls. Negotiation calling a timeout. Maybe Negotiation's trying to freeze him. You know, this game right now, the Lakers have to understand something. I don't know who Negotiation's talking to, but he's looking over at the Laker bench. Now he's got the official by him. Okay, you got that. It's all about keeping your cool right now, keeping your composure. Yep. It, the whole thing comes down as, as I think Coach Negotiation is talking. It goes both ways. It's Absolutely. not just us. But the Lakers have to understand is they can't afford to lose any players for the next game. Exactly. So don't do anything stupid. Don't retaliate on Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Coach Moore's letting them know right now that there's no point retaliating. Don't retaliate for anything that you might have to happen to you. Play the game. Um, you're going to go to the free throw line. You're going to play Friday if you don't do anything stupid. Exactly. We're at 19-point lead right now, five minutes to go. The um, best way to retaliate is to make do your shots. nothing. Make That's your right. shots, do nothing, and hey, who gets to play? That's who right. keeps playing? You know, I will take my hat off to these uh, North Farmington crowd, though. They have been exceptional tonight. Oh, yeah. They're loud and supportive. Um, West Bloomfield uh, basically sitting back, waiting for Friday, I believe. Yeah, they are. And it's good to see the nice following North Farmington's got here. Sure. David Merritt, usually a very successful free throw shooter, misses the first. Yep. And he drains the second. That's a little more to form for him right there. Tough end of the court to shoot free throws on right now. Yeah, it is. Honest, tough end of the court to be an announcer. <laughs> Merritt makes the next, stretches the lead. Go. We must have had a double technical. Well, we did. We had a technical yeah. on Kennedy and a technical on the bench. There we go. And then we also get the ball. And so, we can three out of four from the line up to a 22 point lead and the ball. It does not look good for the North Farmington Raiders as yep. five minutes are left on the clock. Once again, the Lakers just need to have calm heads right now. Let the scoreboard do the talking, that's for sure. Dang, Kyle being smart with the basketball, gonna run off some clock here. There it is. Got the three guards up at the point here. Look at Working him to run some clock, beautiful. David Merritt goes to the middle now, kicks it to Mondo Martin. And you'll see him do much of the same, running some clock. Kicks it over to Kyle Flansbaum. Let's just keep running the clock. They're doing a great job controlling the basketball. 30 seconds off already. There it is, beautiful job by the Lakers right this here. This is something that the Lakers have done the last couple of years that they didn't do. And a great dish on the inside to Hilvers for the easy hoop. Look at that patience running off 41 seconds and getting the bunny. Couldn't ask for a better trip down court for the Lakers. That's right. Oh boy. Uh oh, oh Mondo Martin shooting an elbow in the Schumer's chest. Got away with one. He's, see, that's what I'm talking about. He's got to be smarter than that. Absolutely. We can't get him ejected from the game right now and no. have to miss on Friday. That's right. You know, it's it might not be a bad idea right now for Coach Moore to let his bench get some action. Absolutely. I, nice lead. I, I would say maybe another 30 seconds or so, and you're probably going to see the bench maybe get emptied here. And the bench for West Bloomfield is a very admirable group of uh, athletes and scorers. Mondo Martin shooting two. Oh, boy. Yeah, Mondo's had a very frustrating night from the field. A lot of foul trouble early. Isn't really playing his normal game. He's very frustrated out there. I think he needs to be taken out of the game. Yeah, Save of, him for Friday. A lot of times you get in foul trouble, that happens. Yeah. Here they come. You can't get a good hero in the game. This is good. The Lakers bringing in Casey Unrath, senior. Matt um, Kenick Steck is coming in. He's a junior. Uh, you see here, anybody else coming off the bench? I don't see anybody else coming off. So it's a, right now Mondo Martin sit, shooting his second shot. And an exciting action here at West Be nice Field. to get uh, fan favorite Vince Weber into the ball game. And Vince Weber, Vince Barry. I told Vince him I gave him a shout out tonight. <laughs> Vince Barry, my boy. I just got an update on the hockey oh. score. It's three to three, a nice three three tie for the Lakers right now. Did I say Vince Weber? He said three three. 3-3 tie, Lakers in some heavy quarterfinal hockey action. Against Clarkson. Against uh, Clarkson. That's great. Number 21, Mackler goes in right against Casey Unrath. Twirls around, clears some space with his elbows and uh, forces Casey to foul him. Coach Moore calling a timeout. Trying to get his idea here. Probably runs more clock, I would imagine. 74-51, 23-point lead by the Lakers. Two games, 32-point victory. Uh, and we're up right now 23. You got to be worried about Friday right now with two exceptional points, or are we playing that well? And this is what you want to do at this time of the year. What do you think? 
You know, I think the, the Lakers are coming in with great offensive plans. They're playing absolutely suffocating defense right now, and that's something that, you know, that might have lacked a little bit throughout the year. Yep. Um, and, and they're just cashing in. Hopefully they keep the intensity up for Friday as uh, we play a, a tough, tough Lasser team who, right. who beat up on Farmington Hills Harrison earlier today. So okay. it's going to be a nice challenge for the Lakers, and hopefully they bring this type of intensity to the game on Friday. I think the only thing you really got to worry about with these two blowouts is that the Lakers don't come out expecting to win or expecting to have an easy way to the victory tomorrow or Friday night. Loss for seven and seven. And uh, on the year, actually eight and seven now, and 13 and eight on the season, as they were about fifth place in the uh, OAA Division Three. So they're in the d district final. Um, not something that they're uh, they're accustomed to being there. They've been there many, many times here at West Bloomfield. Um, Mosser and West Bloomfield have went against each other a ton of times. Mackler finishes a three-point play. Lakers now with a 22-point lead. Four minutes left on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Terrence Turner enters the game for the Lakers. Kyle Flansbaum all the way. Oh. Nice little dribble drive by Flansbaum. You know what? We've got, we've got room for him to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's White. Long shot. David Merritt with a rebound. Wow, what a job he's done tonight, huh? Yep, and they're going to slow up the action here again. Kyle Flansbaum with the ball. A little three-yard set. Getting it to Matt Kay. I'll have to say Matt that. Matt Kay in the corner to Casey Unrath, kicking it back to Matt Kay. Yep. Running the clock right now. Doing Good discipline by the Lakers. Back when I used to play high school ball, and we'd have a huge lead like this, and I was uh, finally getting my opportunity to get in the game, I'd be firing threes left <laughs> and right. That's right. That's right. Shoot it from the hip, baby. Shoot it from the hip. Casey dropped it. Had a chance for a layup. And this is McComb still in the game. White with the ball. Inside the Mackler. To Mackler. Nice looking shot right there. You know, I'm pretty impressed with Mackler on the inside. He's only a sophomore, and he's, he's, he's really using his body in there. He's a big kid, long arms, um, good offensive game, and only got to get better. Kyle Flansbaum is just, in my opinion, Ed Richardson was the leading scorer, but Kyle Flansbaum has been amazing tonight. And he's just getting hacked over there. Finally, they call it. <laughs> Number 44 sticking yeah. his paws in there. He's know. the Energizer Bunny, man. He just keeps going and going. <laughs> he is. He's the Energizer. You got to love that kid. And you know what? They call him the gym rat in here anyways because he's in here before everybody, and he's in here after long after uh, the team is gone. So um, everything he's got is, uh, has been earned. Um, he has to practice himself to get into this level. And he is a handful for every team. Yeah, he is. First foul on number 44, Matt Clark. The benches both get, uh, David Merritt goes out, gets a hand from the West Bloomfield crowd, or at least mom and dad. And we Bloomfield. got the Raiders making some substitutions here right now. You know, West Bloomfield is really just kind of chilling right now. They're, the crowd is down. They're sitting there enjoying what's happening. North Farmington still getting after it here. And that's right. 2.36 to go. Well, I think the Raider fans recognize how much of an effort their team put in this year. Sure. Um, obviously winning their division. They had a great team, a great run. And uh, I think they're showing a little appreciation for that Raider effort this year. Number 32, Al Cascutis enters the game, as well as number 24, Ryan Harbron. And K-Fly hits the second one. Jake Petoskey, a 5'11 junior in the game right now. And uh, 31, Chris Clark. Ryan Harbron, 24. Flansbaum and, checks out. And speaking of Vince Berry, there's been a Vince Berry sighting. Vince Berry, where you at? Comes in and gets a foul. Oh. <laughs> Big he's a football bitch. player. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, I'll tell you what, look for Vince Berry to leak out on the break to get one going down, because he loves to throw one down, Absolutely. especially in front of a, a packed house here at West Bloomfield High School. 32, um, Al uh, Kaspitis. I didn't butcher that name. I did a good job with that. Name. Al Casputis. Yeah, this is exactly. a bow from the line. That's all right. Nice shot. Oh, there's Vince. Vince Berry with Vince the Barry. rebound. You can see the, the strength of number 44 on that rebound. And here we go. Anthony Weaver yeah. bringing the ball up court. Kicks it off to Terrence Turner. I think Vince is open for a three. <laughs> he, he, he's spotting up. <laughs> I think Coach Garrison nicknamed him Layup. Yeah, I did. The closer he is, the better off he is. Wow. 
Oh, Casey, I believe Casey came back, got that foul. 75-54, two minutes to go. Second round district action here at West Bloomfield. West Bloomfield handily ahead, 75-54 against the North Farmington Raiders. Again, Coach uh, Pierce, a graduate of North Farmington. Coach Pierce, you gotta say, the kids were scrappy, they had a chance, but Absolutely, yeah. just a little bit more athletic ability, a little more intensity, uh, great defense, and a nice offensive performance by the Lakers today. Wonderful spacing, a um, lot of fast break points. It was just a, a, a great performance by the West Bluefield. You yep. got to tip your cap to them. Yep. Uh oh, there's oh, a pick. Right not the there. kind of pass we want to see. It's Tarantis now. Now, now see, the, the one part I didn't care about. He throws a pass, that, a bad pass, but then he just stops. Yeah, right? he's got to put going. your head down. That's that's something you cannot do. Right. You know that. that I don't care. You make a, a turnover, uh, Terrence. No one's gonna care. But when you come out there and you just lack a days to play defense on a man shooting a wide open three in a close game, you're not gonna be in the game because coach has to have confidence that you're gonna give 100 percent every second. Absolutely. And Terrence Those Turner only thing. a sophomore. Yep. May, have, may have shown that age a, a yep. little bit ago. Those are the little intangibles that our coaches are always looking at. And there's Terrence Turner trying to get his two, first two of the game. 75-55. Anthony Weaver, Matt Koenigsteck. Got uh, Vince Berry, Casey Unrath. There's the first point of the night for him. Leach pushing the ball up the court. Coming hard. Going to push off. Oh, Casey with the body. Got the ball, but he got the body. That's right. 143 to go. And North Farmington still here, still cheering, still loud. Had an exciting night. Uh, had a nice interview with Coach Shewak at halftime. <laughs> Coach Shewak, he just gets better and better with age, huh? yeah, He's, he's kind of like a fine Mountain Dew. That's gets right. Better. That's right. Just gets better and better all the time. Had well represented here by the faculty and teachers and coaches here with West Bloomfield. Want to say thank you to uh, WBTV to give out a, uh, a shout to the guys that work this thing tonight. We got hockey! We got hockey! We got hockey! And I, I guess the crowd doesn't understand that we're still playing in hockey. Vince! Oh! Casey knocked the ball out of bounds. Vince had a chance to get two. Just missed, missed it. So we will see. North Farmington bringing the ball back up. I want to give a shout out there to the people that did all the work. Whoa! We got three seconds down in the lane, but I don't think they're going to call it at this yeah. point. Vince should be leaking out of here. I'd like to see him leak. <laughs> that ball's on the floor. Get Vince, out of there. fumble, Vince! Fumble! <laughs> Casey unravels with the rebound, clears yeah. it out to Anthony Weaver. Here's your chance. Here's Turn around, chance. Vince. Turn around. <laughs> oh, you got to act. Call the foul. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that was a that lot was of a, contacts. A lot of contact, contact there, but no call by the referee. I think what? that was a 20 point lead. I'm going to call a traveling call. What, what, <laughs> I think I'm right. 105, 104 to go. Let me try this again. We've got. And in the game, number four, Jake Potoski. <laughs> Potoski coming back in here. Randy Long, producer. Great job. Um, you see here, Eric Goodman running the show on the camera and also all the technical goodies. That's Eric Goodman's thing. And Donna Lippman running the camera up top. Thank you very much. So great job, WBTV staff. Good job to Coach Pierce. Thank you for joining me this week. No problem. Also, Coach Latcher, thank you for joining me. Um, appreciate it. It's a lot of fun, isn't it, guys? Oh, yeah, Absolutely. having a great time. <laughs> it's one of those things I always say that's an intangible for. Um, Get in there. Oh, Matt <laughs> Kay with the finger Matt roll. Kay. Coach Moore standing up on that, saying, that's what I want, son. That's what I want you to do. Matt Kay takes it all the way. No, he didn't touch it. <laughs> he hasn't touched that ball all year. Come on. Excellent job. With 36 seconds left, it's a good time to uh, thank Coach Garrison. He's not the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. He's the best play-by-play -play guy. You know, he sets you up. For you to make a great comment back, and, you know, and he, he basically he makes all of us look really good at our jobs. What'd that's you right. say, Mr. Pierce? I'm, I'm glad I'm wearing boots. <laughs> He's a people person. Yep, that's why I wear shorts, so I don't have to get anything on my lower cuff. I can't say enough about Coach Garrison, <laughs> especially once he writes my evaluation. That's right, man. I and then then the real stuff flies. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a great job for me again, uh, Coach Latra. You didn't pick us up on Monday. Coach Latra is a student teacher here at West Bloomfield. Central Michigan graduate going to be this year. Um, teaching in PE and health. 
doing a great job for me, and uh, I believe there's a future here at West Bloomfield. Also, Pay freshman attention. baseball coach, so all you uh, Laker fans, make sure you come out and support that freshman baseball team. Vince! Oh, Vince Berry tries a little runner, doesn't go. They'll get the ball back with 25-4 left. We want to see Casey Umrath fire one up. The most dangerous person inbounds the ball is the inbounder. There we go. Terrence Turner backs it off. Anthony Weaver. Back to Turner. Turner. Oh, there's a travel probably. Oh, here you go. Couldn't let that one go. No. <laughs> Little hack, Matt K going to the line. See the look from uh, Matt K on the floor as he was kind of like, you have to call that a foul. <laughs> <laughs> I know I travel, but you got to call that. <laughs> I know. Now, stay tuned afterwards if we're going to go out and try to grab a couple of the players. Um, hopefully, Kyle Plantsbaum and Richardson can join us for this one. Um, I'd like to get a couple. Maybe Zach Hilvers, as those three guys, I think, had the probably um, far and away were three of the catalysts for this victory tonight. Yeah, they stepped Absolutely. up tonight. 13 seconds left. And Eight another seconds. nice game for the West Bloomfield Lakers. There we go. Number one in the book. Just about Wheeler. Here is a half throw it up. Oh. And the Lakers win 78 to 59. Wow. What a great game. We'll be right back after this with some interviews. Stay tuned as 19 Sports brings you the wrap-up with the WBTV Sports Watch crew coming up here at the playoffs from the MHSAA playoffs from Leaker Arena, West Bloomfield High School, right here on 19 Sports Coverage, WBTV. The wrap-up is coming up next. Don't go away. here with us tonight uh, probably the peskiest player on the court tonight Kyle Flansbaum great job tonight Kyle absolutely thank you <laughs> now to me the enthusiasm was great from the beginning but it really picked up in the second half why yeah because this is districts and you know it's not just another regular season game either we win or we go home so I mean even when we got to leave we couldn't let up and we knew we couldn't let up now with about five minutes left in the game you guys had about a 22 point lead we were pushing the ball a little bit Coach Moore called the timeout. What did he say to you guys then? I don't remember, but I'd be guessing that he said not to take any. He said don't do anything stupid because <laughs> he didn't want anyone to get kicked out of the game for next game or anything. I remember he said that. Oh boy. <laughs> that tip, tip, typical response from a team player. Hey, and here we go again, not paying attention to what's going on on the TV. <laughs> We've had this one happen before with Kyle. Okay, focus. Okay. Um, tonight, your job of handling the ball, it looked to me like they tried to get the ball out of your hands early on. Um, a difficult task, but with the three ball handlers that we have in our backcourt, make it kind of difficult, doesn't it? We have we have too many ball handlers to focus on one guy because we.